Good morning and good evening. My name is uh, Carlos Manuel Rodriguez and I'm the CEO and chairperson of the Global Environment Facility, known as the GEF. First, uh, thank you for, uh, to the organizers uh, of this important event. If um, the past uh, few years has taught us anything, it is that sustainable li life on Earth uh, requires transformational change in the human's uh, relationship with nature. The intensifying impacts of climate change and the ongoing uh, COVID pandemics is evidence of the urgent need uh, for such a transformation. We're running out of time uh, to strike the necessary balance uh, between uh, humanity and the natural world. I, I've been working on environmental policy and environmental law for many years in Costa Rica. And one of the things that I felt that has uh, generated a lot of traction in terms of our conservation outcomes are how we've been dealing with uh, policy coherence, uh, mobilization of, of uh, domestic resources, and empowering the private sector as a way to make the best out of uh, green investments. So several elements must come together if we are to build and restore a healthy natural well, as I was saying in Costa Rica and my experience from there. The political alignment with the environmental sustainability is important. The whole of a society approach to the environment government is relevant. And the proper valuation of nature uh, and the services it provides to people in producing clean water and food and regulating uh, the planet's uh, climate. We must transform our economic systems to internalize uh, these values. Uh, natural capital approaches offer a range of uh, innovative tools for addressing the failures of the current and dominant uh, economic uh, systems. These approaches will help transform the dynamics that are driving nature laws and climate change. However, uh, they are just part of a bigger, more complex puzzle. Natural capital approaches will be critical elements in a broader set of effective, coherent policies that uh, quantify, understand, and manage uh, natural capital in the context of uh, integrated decision making for better outcomes for human and nature. The financial markets are, for example, the need to recognize the value of nature, especially the forests and biodiversity. Carbon pricing is the first step, but we need also new tools like nature certificates and carbon credits uh, for biodiversity benefits at the national as well as at the international level. So the Jeff is a solid partner in these exciting and rapidly expanding natural capital applications and innovation in the Asia Pacific region and globally as well. Finally, the Jeff has, um, has launched an umbrella program to support uh, development of biodiversity finance plan that is being led by UNDP and that will provide support uh, for the expansion of methodologies promoted by Biofin. Biofin is this very interesting project on the bio finances on biodiversity. So uh, countries can close the financial gap for biodiversity at the national level. The program will ultimately support more than 90 JEF recipient countries that have not yet been benefited from Biofin. It will help countries uh, create the enabling condition, including baseline diagnostics uh, capacity, institutional arrangements, and planning requires uh, to mobilize uh, resources at scale to implement the GBFF, which is the Global the Biodiversity Framework. I believe that a healthy environment and functioning natural systems that produce services for people are fundamental to the solving of our economic and development challenges. Natural capital valuation and the transformation of economic systems is the central pathway to protecting and restoring those systems and ensuring they are part of a sustainable uh, future. Thank you so much.